Hey, what's up, y'all? So throwbacks, man. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe now. Today, I want to talk about some real. Sh I want to talk about some real stuff. You know what I'm saying? Listen, man. I want to talk about generational curses and why it's important for us to break them. So, it's so many generational curses that can get passed down to you and your family from alcoholism to um, family fighting with each other to all type. Listen, all type of generational curses. But today I want to focus on that one particular generational curse. Um, it's basically family going against each other and it basically coming from a, a, a dysfunctional household. That dysfunctional generation curse. We have to break it. So I know a lot of y'all similar to me grew up in a household to whereas mom and dads are fighting, right? Mom and dads are fighting. Um, it can mess up a kid's mind. You know, um, listen, everybody's going to have disagreements, but it's different levels to fighting. You know, it's different levels to arguments, it's different levels to disagreements. Some of us witness your mom being abused. Some of y'all witness your, your pops being abused. Some of y'all witness this as young kids and these things could carry on to you later in life. And then when you get older, subconsciously, you don't realize that you're doing the same things that you seen your mom did. You're doing the same things you see your daddy do. When you see your mom, when you see your dad hit your mom or something like that, you might be in a situation when you get older and you do it and you're like, wait, whoa, this reminds me of something. Or well, some of y'all don't even realize it. But the point of this, what I'm trying to say is we have to break these generational curses. All right. I was, I was always told that you and your loved ones is all y'all got. So if you have a brother and sister or whatever, you guys might get into a, into a disagreement. Are you really going to not communicate and not work things out with your brother or sister because you guys got into a disagreement? This is this is what, you know, the, the, the evil one wants us to do. He wants us to go against each other, separate. The evil one was sent here to separate, break up and destroy. He hates to see you happy. If you don't know who the evil one is, I don't know what to tell you. But the evil one came here to break up, destroy families. And these families are broken up by generational curses. And we got to be the ones to break them. And how do we break them? How do we break these generational curses? Well, simple. You got to set the example in your family. When you're with your, with your wife or your husband. And of course, every day is not going to be a great day. You're going to have days where you can't stand your husband. You're going to have days where you can't stand your wife. You get into a disagreement. But before it gets to that level where it gets physical, before it gets to that level to whereas you don't want to talk to that person forever, leave. Go get some air. Think about it. Don't fight in front of your children. Don't put your hands on that woman. Don't put your hands on that man. If you're that upset to the point where you want to get physical, you want to do something that you seen your mom do, that you seen your dad did. You think about that moment and what it did to you when you was a child. And you take a deep breath and you walk out that house and get some air and come back later when you feel better. These are ways we learn how to break these generational curses. So when your kids see that you had the strength to walk away from a situation that could have got physical, a situation that could have got critical, a situation that could have caused your children pain, they will look at that and say, my daddy was a real man because he walked away from problems that could have led to something physical. My mommy was a real woman because she didn't get upset and cut up daddy clothes or she didn't get upset and break daddy window in his car. She handled it differently. Once we learn how to handle things differently. We would then have the power to break these generational curses. I'm not the only one that been through this. That's why I want to share some real life shit with y'all. I want to connect with y'all. I want y'all to stay connected with me. If you like this video or you want to comment on this video, or you want to share your experiences or if you want to give ideas how to break these generational curses, by all means, leave some messages in the messages in the comments. And I'll be sure to comment with you guys and have an open dialogue with you guys and respond.
This is Sir Throwbacks, man. We're going to talk about more real shit, more life shit. Love y'all, man. Y'all be safe out there, all right? Break those generational curses. Yeah.